I, I wanted to ask you, in terms of you being a senior leader on this team, you're getting ready for a game now that's six days out. What has kind of been the, I guess, the, the, t- the feeling around the team as you guys get ready for this game? You know, I think a lot of guys are just excited that we get to play. Uh, being one of the only teams out West that are actually playing right now, I think it's a privilege uh, to be playing. And I think none of us are taking it lightly. Uh, we're, we're grinding every day and uh, we're excited to just go out there and play ball, uh, something we love to do. So I think we're really excited. And in terms of your role facing triple option, your defensive back, how different is your role going into a game like this as compared to maybe facing a team who's more of a pro style or a spread? Uh, yeah, so I think the biggest thing is going to just be uh, eye discipline, and that, that's for everybody on the back end. And, and honestly, just everybody on the defense, on the field, eye discipline is going to be huge uh, because, you know, one little mistake, Stake against a team like this, and it could be it could go a long way. So I think uh, I think it's huge for us to just minimize those uh, mental errors and just lock into our our one eleventh our, and our own assignment to get the job done this game. Troy, you've played a lot of football with Matt Bushman, and coming into this year, seniors. How hard is that? And, and how do you kind of deal with those emotions and just, you know, you're, you're, you've been around football, you know, injuries happen and, you know, but, but still, how do you kind of deal with that? Honestly, it's a, it's an emotional topic. Um, you know, Matt Bushman is one of the greatest guys that I've ever met. Uh, one of the greatest players that I've ever played with. And uh, for him to, you know, go through what he's going through, um, I kind of feel him in a sense uh, because I've had a, a major injury. Um, but for him to be a senior, for him to be going through this right now, it's tough. And, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of us seniors and a lot of us players, we're just trying to do anything and everything we can to, uh, to be there for him during this time. And, uh, you know, he's in our prayers. And, and uh, yeah, he's, he's, huge for, he's huge to this family. And I know that he'll contribute. Uh, any way that he can this year. So, like, can you sum up what the emotional roller coaster has been like for you and the team the last two months from the day that it looked like the season was going to be canceled with no opponents until five days away from playing on national television on ESPN? Yeah, like you said, uh, I think. I think a lot of us, you know, we're going through a time where, like you said, COVID hit. Um, A lot of teams were canceling their season um, and a lot of conferences canceling their season. And and we were unsure that we were going to have our own season. Um, And it took a lot of mental, uh, mental and emotional strength to just put our head down and grind, uh, continue to grind uh, and, and just prepare ourselves the right way. Uh, so, so that we could be set up to, to be great in this moment, uh, five, five, six uh, days away from the game. And, you know, we're just excited to be, to be in this position, to be able to play football. And uh, like I said before, we, we don't take it for granted. Go ahead, Norma. Sort of to piggyback on that, I guess, what motivation did you have? What helped you to just, keep wanting to put in the work um, to possibly have a season because there was times where you guys just had three games. So it was kind of questionable whether there would be a season, but what motivated you to keep going? Right. Yeah. Um, So obviously everybody on this team loves the game of football and uh, you know, that's a, that's a huge motivation in itself. If you love the game, you'll do anything and everything to, uh, to better yourself and, and on and off the field every day that you're in this building. And so uh, I guess I, I think that's just the biggest thing in, in motivating us is just the fact that whether it's one game, whether it's eight games, whether it's a full schedule, uh, the fact that we have something to prepare for and, and we have a, a greater goal in mind, I think is a, a big motivation in itself for each player here. Go ahead, Jared. 
far, I don't know if you heard, but I asked Coach G, and we've ta- talked to Kalani. They they came out with the depth chart that had a lot of unique names, a lot of hybrid roles. You've done that. You've you've had your own hybrid role of being safety and cornerback, and you know a lot of guys are kind of filling different roles depending on the circumstances and the situations. What does that do for a defense when when you have so many guys that can do so many different things like that, and and are kind of slotted in in those types of roles? Right. I mean, I think. I think having a lot of versatile players is a good problem to have. Um, it, it allows, you know, it allows the coaches and, and the defense in general, um, it, it just allows them to get the best players on the field. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I think it's a good problem to have. A lot of talented players, uh, a lot of depth. And uh, I, I think that's going to be a, a, a strong point for this team for this upcoming season. I also wanted to ask, Troy, you and I talked about your brother last time we were talking, and I just wondered how he was doing. So he got put on the, you know, the injured list or the COVID list or whatever it was and just wanted to see how he how he was doing right now. Yeah, he's, he's doing good. Um, you know, he's kind of put in a position where things are kind of out of his control. And so right now all he can do is just control what he can control. And, uh, yeah, like I said, he, he's doing good, and uh, he'll be he'll be fine. That's good to hear. Okay, thanks, sure. Troy. Yep. Let's go, Sean. Hey, Troy, just kind of following up, because I was sort of thinking something similar to, to what what uh, Jared just asked you. But if with, with regards to kind of the hybrid positions and sort of the nature of, of all those positions on offense, is that something that you guys really think about when you're out on the field? Or or is there a, is there a point when you're out there and it just kind of becomes – becomes football, I guess, in some ways. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think it just at some point just becomes football. Um, and the, the, the confidence that exudes from you as a player, right? Because as a player, you want to you wanna, you wanna, uh, know for yourself that you're capable of doing multiple things and many things in order to help the team win games. And so, you know, that's one thing that I pride myself on is, you know, if I can't do it in, in one way, I can do it in another way. Uh, um, any, way that, any way that you can that, – that, that they need me to do something, I'm able to do it. And uh, I, think every, I think every player that's, that's a versatile guy prides themselves on that. So that's, that's my take on it. Okay, last question. Mitch, go ahead. Yeah, Troy, just real quick, um, just maybe describe the, the chemistry that you feel you have with Zane Anderson on the back end of that defense this year. Yeah, that's a that's a great question. So Zane Zane and I both have a lot of experience playing uh at this level and a lot of experience playing safety uh specifically. And uh I think that plays to our advantage. Um, you know, we're able to communicate in ways that, you know, maybe a younger guy wouldn't understand. And so uh I think it's huge for for uh just making plays in general. And I think it'll be a big asset for us going forward uh on this defense. So it's it's definitely it's definitely a fun situation and a, and a good uh, a good thing. 